Welcome back swimmers to this episode of the Swim Vice Pro Series. Today I'm going to be going through quick tips on how to improve your breaststroke pullout using Olympic swimmers as an example. Now before I get started, if you've watched the channel, commented, or looking to improve your swim practice, be sure to show your support by subscribing to the channel by clicking the red button below this video. All right, let's get into it. So here's the breaststroke pullout all the way through from breaking free for that first stroke. So slowing this down, the first thing you wanna recognize when you are practicing a breaststroke pullout is to slide your shoulders forward, keeping your arms close to the side of your body, but opening up and lifting from your traps and your shoulders forward, which will ultimately help you lengthen your body more forward and you will get more glide during this phase of the pullout. Secondly, when you have to bring your arms forward is you want to aim to keep your hands as close to the midline of your body as possible to avoid as much resistance moving forward. So you almost want to think of your hands are actually kind of sweeping or sliding close to the midline of the body, not trying to create any added resistance. And lastly, when breaking free for that first stroke, is you wanna fully lengthen and extend through from your posterior chain. That means your posterior delts, your lats, your glutes, everything to extend your body as far forward as you break free for that first stroke, which will make a huge difference before you even start the length. So to summarize the main priorities with breaststroke, is to fully extend through, especially on the finish of the stroke and during the breaststroke pullout. This provides a synchronized glide and a full body length, as you see in this freeze frame, to reduce drag, lengthen your body, and as get as much distance per stroke as possible. So if you're watching this and you're working on your breaststroke pullout, try a couple of these points the next time you go to the pool and drop a comment below and let me know how it goes. And if you're interested in a real step-by-step -step progression on how to improve your swim technique, be sure to click the pinned comments below and access the Swim Vice membership for seven days free, where you'll have live interaction with me and access to multiple digital courses. All right, swimmers, enjoy your practice, and I will see you all next week.